All right, so what is this thing? This is a 1920s clear tilt radio. Let's see your uh, batteries getting low. These were operated off of batteries back in the day, and you'd actually uh, go down to your radio shop and weekly swap them out. They'd keep one set charging for you. And when your battery got low, you would just go swap out. So you'd have two sets of batteries, and we can see here, you would, uh, each dial, uh, it would help you tune the radio station you're looking for. And what I did is we got a computer in here. We got a latte panda. It's got a built-in Arduino. That's how we do the uh, analog communication. These have LEDs in them. I haven't programmed the um, the activities for those yet. That right there is a USB drive that actually contains MP3s and the um, station directory for uh, this is RSS podcast. This is live streaming internet radio. It's oldies, kind of fitting. But if you want to update uh, the radio, you basically unplug that USB drive there, modify the text files for RSS, modify the text files for this, or start your MP3 uh, directory structure. Let's check out some podcasts. The same things over and over, and the same points are being made because I'm one of those people that factors things down to the to what, I, to, to what I consider to be. They don't, so know, they don't know where the delineation happened, how they, they don't know. They thought it was a bunch of other wild cannons. And I, I we can see here as I uh, adjust the knobs, you can see the software is adjusting the static levels and the uh, volume of the station itself. Some nature sounds. This is um, probably going to be around 24 watt hours. This takes up six watts or so. And uh, yeah, so getting about four hours out of just a little Milwaukee tool. They also have extended ones. Um, and all in all, it's been a really fun project. I'm excited to get these tubes programmed here so um, they'll play along with the music. I just made a little cheat sheet here. So when I get around to programming, um, I did keep the 12 volt rails on the tubes. So a lot of the stuff was a lot of the internal wiring was salvaged and kept, so we got positive on this terminal, negative on that terminal, and then I got some of the Arduino pins on, I think on this one here, so if we want to do some WS2812 uh, LED lighting, maybe put a strip underneath here or something like that. This is kind of, just got this thing going, I thought I'd share it, and I hope you enjoyed it.